Excel Camp Nessie sheath system. This starts off with a plain Kydax sheath. This is a simple pancake version. There's a breakaway back uh, so that it comes in and out easily. And even with the mount, the back removed, it's still in there fairly well and isn't going to come out. Fitted with a large tech lock. If you remove the safety catch, squeeze and open up. You have two spaces in here so you can make it fit the exact height and carry of your belt width. It can also be mounted in various other positions such as here, lower or higher on the belt. This is a quite a big knife but being as it's only 3.5mm it's quite light. And actually, as a side carry, It's actually quite comfortable, it doesn't feel noticeable on a belt. It is a bit long, but it's something you can get used to. And with the tech lock it's very simple to remove, um, quickly and easy to get out of the way. Again, you can either pull it straight out, or lift it up and take it out. Quite easy single-handed removal. However, a camp knife is not something I'd normally carry on my belt. Um, as you can see it's easy enough to take on and off. For pack carry, which is where I would normally carry such a knife, this could probably easily clip around a rucksack or you could fit it with a Blade Tech uh, Molly adapter. These bolts simply remove the tech lock and replace with one of these and it will fit all your Molly or PALS strap systems on your rucksack Bergens or whatever. Very versatile system. Um, Another carry we've got for this with a simple piece of two inch webbing. This is just plain off the shelf by the meter. A couple of tri glides, no stitching. Make up a simple loop at the bottom. Adjustable tri glide here to stop here. And another one for your belt loop. There's plenty of material left in here to adjust the height of carry. And I've added a small piece of elasticated um, shock cord. Uh, and a tab as a, a carrier. It's not necessary in some of the carries but it's easy enough to take on or off. This simply slides over the belt and is worn like this. Okay, tech lock remains in place. We can then push the tech lock through the lower loop, close it shut, fold the lock over, the dry guide's then adjusted and set to hold it nice and snug. As you can see, just like this it's a bit floppy, that holds it fairly well, however, better way of doing it. This is an off-the-shelf Maxpedition leg strap. Unfortunately, they've cheapened it. it. No longer has the elastic adjustment in it. This can then fit straight through the back frog. And, and stays, keeps the knife fairly well on. Okay, or you can still use the clip. The knife is then still easily removable. Say hello to Rowan. And this can be left in place um, while you take the knife off to use or it gets in the way, put it back in your pack uh, or whatever. For those who are worried about release of the knife, the sheath is fairly solid. However, we can increase the security of this, especially on pack carry when you can't see or feel the knife. This is an IWB rubber loop. Again, it's part of the Kydexy type systems. It has a lift the dot snap cap, so it can only be lifted in one position. This can be fitted on the front eye. There, it can be lifted around for extra security. Okay, for pack carry or if you're on a long carry, you want to, don't want, definitely don't want to lose it. 
and it can be removed or taken on as needed. Camp XL Nessie sheath system. See it on the side with the extra secure IWB loop. Um, again, it's easy enough to ping it off with the hand and can be broken out with a thumb push and removed. Uh, for normal use at the moment, you can just leave the loop off and draw um, and reposition this for extra security when you're on the move for longer periods and even clamp it down if you wish. The frog system with the adjustable loop fits normal bushcraft knives um, with my tetlock system. Again, adjustment can make it so that you can use the pommel um, chuck cord. However, two reasons um, you need the leg strap for these particularly. One is because these bushcraft knives are generally quite top heavy. So it's not going to sit very well. And two, kydex sheaths require a positive um, release so you need to pull against or push against something. So again, you're not just going to pull the knife out, it has to come up here or thumb push. The leg strap means you've got something to pull against to release your knife. This is my DJP and this is actually the wide boy version with a 7.3 millimeter spine and flandy ground. It's a very solid bit of kit um, for bushcrafting. But once again, this one particular knife is probably best carried opposite cross draw. Where again, it's quite a small, neat package. It doesn't get in the way for when you're kneeling, bending. It can be moved around a bit and is easy to draw and sheath.